Let's start with a story that's making, that's millions of years in the making. An Arizona man named Christopher Thomas was arrested after allegedly stealing a dinosaur claw worth $25,000 from a vendor at a gym show, then attempting to sell it to another vendor at the same show. Bruh, really? That's what you choose to steal at a gym show? He couldn't find another gym show to sell the claw at? You know the gym and dinosaur fossil community has to be a small one. It's like uh, Indiana Jones, uh, Nicolas Cage in National Treasure, Ross from Friends, Jeff Goldblum from Jurassic Park, and the old guy in a dirty fur coat from outside 7-Eleven. Those are the gym show guys. That is literally the whole community. And he looks like the kind of dude that would steal a fossil and then use it for a used Xbox. I, 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 have, I absolutely believe that was the case until you prove otherwise. Now, I hate profiling, but if I was a vendor at that show and saw this guy walking up, I'd be like, hey, hey, lock up the dinosaur claws. No, 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 I don't trust that one. Matter of fact, we got that uh, bulletproof glass that they use at the curry out. Yeah, we're going to need those at the gym show now if he's going to be walking around. Now he's the one locked up, mainly because he's terrible at crime. I chose this next story because it's adorable and inspiring, and that's what we need right now. A group of fourth graders in Vacaville, Florida, led by nine-year-old Jordan Reed, staged a successful protest to get chocolate milk reintroduced to their school's menu. Shoulder to shoulder. Step by step, students left class to rally out front, Shut it down. where everyone could hear their voices being heard. Shut it down. That's how we feel about it. We feel really strongly about it. We want to protest for it and bring it back. All of this to protest something every kid loves. What do we want? Chocolate milk! When do we want it? Now! No lactose, no peace. No lactose, no peace. By the way, my apologies to California. This happened in Vacaville, California. Of course, nothing this productive went down in Florida. But this is my kind of activism. These kids will not be denied. We would live in a utopia if all protests were this cute. Now, of all the things they could have marched for, chocolate milk was a fantastic choice because longer recess, that would have been way harder to get. They recognized that chocolate milk was an attainable goal, and now they have it. These are the activists of the future. Or they could choose the path of the dark side and become senators. Now, I know I would have never thought that organizing a protest could actually work when I was just in the fourth grade. That's usually a college level strategy. So, of course, shout out to the students at Howard University. Every time I tried to protest something as a kid, my mom would shut it down in four words because I said so. That was it, protest's over, everybody go home and hand in your bullhorns. It was a dictatorship in that house, it was not a democracy. That's why we never had name brand cereal. Talking about some Tutti Fruities. Ain't nobody heard of Tutti Fruities. People, my friends got tricks and I got pranks. Now I picked this next story simply because it's just fantastic. A Tuscaloosa, Alabama courthouse was placed on lockdown and nearby streets were closed when police responded to a call about two suspicious packages sitting on the building steps. Turns out those suspicious packages were a delivery order from Taco Bell. That's right, somebody's DoorDash order made everybody panic. Now you know whoever ordered that food is super mad that somebody called the cops on lunch. They were locked down and hungry for nothing. Now the delivery contained a taco and burrito cravings pack customized to include regular and Doritos Locos tacos, along with four beefy five-layer burritos. Yeah, the only bombs that courthouse needed to worry about were the ones that were getting dropped in that bathroom. You know it was going there. They should go ahead and change the name of that to the Bubble Guts Pack. Let's shift gears because, of course, I don't want to end on a poop joke. At least not today, since I have a very, very special message to share. And it's now time for an open mic public service announcement for all the singles out there. Yesterday was a rough one, wasn't it? It being Valentine's Day and you being uncoupled, love was in the air, just not for you. And at every turn, you were faced with a reminder of what you're missing out on. The couple on the metro next to you holding a bouquet of balloons, the flowers delivered to that girl in the office who swiped your lunch out of the break room fridge. 
Even that lasagna larcenist has love in her life. Even Peruvian dogs got married yesterday. Really, that happened. You felt left out, didn't you? But not to worry. Yesterday was their day, but today, February 15th, is all yours. Prepare to rejoice, for today is Singles Awareness Day. Sad is a day set aside just for you, the single and proud. And you can celebrate it any way you wish. Because you're single, there's no one to tell you what to do and nobody to lie and say that smell isn't because you had Taco Bell for lunch. Today is your day. Seize it, carpe per diem, or whatever the Russians said. Treat yourself to some half price Valentine's Day candy while you're at it. Just, you know, leave me some Skittles. This has been an open mic public service announcement. Did that PSA say whatever the Russians said? They are so creative. Uh, you knew Taco Bell was coming back. By the way, if anybody who's celebrating Singles Awareness Day is taking advantage of the Tinder blind date function, definitely hit us up. I hope we can actually hear from both sides of a blind date. That would be one of the best past the mic ever. My favorite story, you know it's got to be Singles Awareness Day, but of course, the Taco Bell bomb scare is a close second because I've celebrated both. By the way, treat yourself to some half-priced Valentine's Day candy while you're at it. Make sure you go ahead and do that.